Hey guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today we will be learning how to import your mesh from Blender to Roblox. Uh, this is going to be a very easy tutorial and it's going to show you exactly how you can um, import whatever you have in Blender into um, to Roblox. I'll actually just, okay. So right now I have my Bombardier Global 5000, which I made in a speed build video. Uh, if you want to download this plane and modify it a bit, since a lot of things are missing, the gears haven't been done, um, the wing box is basically just a lump of cube and there are no engines so if you want to edit it make sure to join my discord server um i've got a lot of you guys here and all my airplane files are here otherwise if you have your own mesh that's perfectly fine so just a quick note if you already have a mesh in blender and I've got one. It's a very cursed A320. If you if you would like to call it that, just, just remove that one. And if you have a mesh and you go inside of it and you see nothing, so everything's basically empty. There's a very easy fix to this introduced in Roblox. So this is for if you have your mesh imported. So all you would have to do is literally, uh, okay, you have to click on your mesh click on the specific uh, part, for me it's the fuselage, then click double-sided, which you would find in the appearance menu under the properties. So if you cannot see this panel, go to, you might be at home, so go to home, view, properties, and then click double-sided. Once you've done that, if you go inside your mesh, voila, you can see that it finally has an interior, but again, the um, the doors and the windows are still um, see-through. So for that, you would actually have to double click double side for each and every part. So again, you can just quite literally do um, Control A and double sided. So now, uh oh, <laughs> oops, what did I do, did I do wrong here? double-sided oh, click and there we are so everything's double-sided now except that which you would have to individually click there we are so if you have if you have that thing done that's perfect you can use that but if you don't if you're here to learn how to import it then here's how you can do it so I'll just delete this one and don't need to do any of this guys, this is just me quickly. Remove from game. I'll remove from game. Okay, well that removes. Um the first thing you want to do is check your normal. So for those of you who don't know who what normals are, normals are basically where the specific um face is um facing. So it, it sounds very silly, but just imagine that if you were to have a look at normals which is over here it's you can see lines that go out so the normals for this face um, to find out where the line goes out you can see it by clicking here and then clicking face orientation so if it's blue that means your normals are going out so they're facing out like that and if they're red so like as you can see it's red they're facing in so if we have a look inside our fuselage, we can see that it's all red. That means our mesh is going to actually be invisible when we import it into Roblox. Now there's two th ways you can uh, fix this. The first way being uh, you could use the double-sided settings in Roblox Studio, or second way is using a modifier called the Solidify modifier in Blender. Now to do that, select the fuselage or select the part that you have click solidify modifier and you're done so if you go inside there and click face orientation you can see how the fuselage is now blue so 
If you want to check how your plane would be looking inside Roblox Studio, there's an option for that in Blender. All you have to do is click this arrow, click back face culling, and scroll in. And you can see how, and this is how your plane would be looking in Roblox Studio. Of course, the windows need to be, um, they also need to be solidified, but for now, I'll just leave it as it is. So we can just simply do it in Roblox Studio. So this is just an, another efficient way you can use. So let's close this. Okay. Um, now that we've done that, we will actually move to the uh, exporting part. So we have to first of all select the mesh. So actually, no, we have to just click File, Export. And here there's two ways you can actually export this mesh. One is FBX and one is OBJ. Now Roblox actually prefers you to use OBJ, but that has some limitations to it. And I will discuss those limitations. So for now we will just click FBX. And actually just a quick note. Click on every part you have just to check that it's Tris count, which should be below here is up under 10,000 if you're importing this into Roblox. If it's above 10,000, this part would not import into Roblox. If there's an issue with the, if you don't know, if you want to decrease the number of triangles or the tris count, right, uh, go into edit mode, mesh and clean up and decimate, modif decimate geometry. I will not be discussing that right now, but you can Google how to um, decrease the tris count. So again, quickly, export as an FBX and store this I'll store this on the desktop for now okay export FBX now that we've done that we can quickly move on to Roblox Studio there we are beautiful um, before you actually so <laughs> what you have to do is open a new file open a new game in Roblox Studio so new it's opening here for me. So I'll just quickly show you. And you have to publish this game under something. So you have to click File, Publish to Roblox as, create a new game, testing, create. And once it creates a game for you, you will be f you will. You can finally see the um, the mesh option, which would which I'll show you where it is right now. So it doesn't work for me for some reason. I don't know why, but I've already got a existing game. So here, all you have to do is go to View uh, and Asset Manager. So here you should you would be greeted by this um, this uh, dialog box, but this, you would only get this if you've actually got, um, if you've published this game to Roblox. So you can literally just do it here. It doesn't matter whether the game's online or offline. You just have to publish it to import a mesh. Then you want to click here on this little button, bulk import. Okay, so bulk import, um, choose wherever your FBX was. So mine is here, fresh plane FBX. Open, uh, and I'll keep them as they are so apply just don't click apply or just click apply and that's it so it should be importing um, I'll give you guys an update when it's finished and I'll show you how it looks like so okay so the meshes seem to have been imported um, there's two errors here and you can scroll down to find them uh, the only two, the only reason the errors are there is because I included some circles, which um, basically a circle is this. Um, the Blender doesn't import these because it, because it just I'm sorry, Roblox doesn't import these because they it just doesn't. You don't need to worry about that unless it's actually crucial. It wouldn't really affect your plane. So, anyways. Um, once you've done that, go to your asset manager, go to meshes, double click there, and select the top mesh. Select that, scroll all the way down, make sure you're holding down shift, and then click the bottommost mesh. 
then right click and insert with location so give it a couple of seconds um, hopefully Roblox Studio doesn't explode hopefully my laptop's fan doesn't start okay it's here beautiful our beautiful mesh is here um, oh yeah there is uh, it's in the ground so what I'll actually do is I'll just select it all go to home select then just grab it and there it is voila um, of course the insides only the insides visible for now that's because we didn't select the the um, double-sided option for the windows so you can actually do that manually or I think you can do control a and click double-sided for everything so yeah it's double-sided now so with that being said you can now scale your plane up scale it up a big make it a big boy um, give it colors I guess um, if you give it I'll give it pale white um, glass <laughs> you can do whatever you like now um, your planes in here do not I don't like that color scheme at all uh, there we are this should hopefully okay <laughs> I guess this could do the work. So, anyways, you've got your plane in. Um, do anything you like with it now. Uh, that's one way to import your plane, and that is using the FBX method. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if there's any problems, my DMs are always open on Discord. You can you make feel free to message me. There's no problems with that. If you need extra support, make sure to join my. Discord server. We've got very friendly people here. Um, in fact, you can ping if you need immediate help or spam my DMs as it says here. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed and hope you have a lovely day ahead.